Hey, Browner. It's getting kind of full back there, so after this, we should probably take it back to the base and unload it. All right, Pit Hog. What's this? That's odd. This looks like that clone's Hawkeye's cape. What's it still doing here? Hmm, must be nearby. What the heck? It's one thing to leave your cape thing behind, but your helmet? Nah, someone's not right here. Someone's wrong. Browner, prepare to make a detour. We gotta stop at Outpost 2015. Alright, got it, Pit Hog. First night at the base, Jackal. You get a good night's sleep? Sure did, Blue. Thank you very much. Anytime. Blue, can I talk to you? Sure, Sergeant. Blue, it's about the missing clones. We might want to talk about this inside. Okay. Sir, the last few hours I've been trying to use this thing, and believe me, I can't even get a signal off a of Sixer and Hawkeye, much less contact them. We have no idea where they are. Does Base know about this? No. I can't get through to them either. It's one of those summer storms that's interfering with our communications. Even Relay tried and he couldn't get it. Wow, that's when you know it's bad. Yeah, you got that right, Blue. Blue! We need you out here! Looks like this will have to wait, Sergeant. I'll be back. Sir, Cotton has spotted a gunship flying at low altitude. Looks to be heading this way. Pit Hog, what a nice surprise! You and Browner should come visit us more often. It's good to see you. Thank you for the invitation, Blue. I'll make sure to take you up on that. But for now, I come bearing some puzzling news. Well, what is it, Pit Hog? Take a look for yourself. Hawkeye's helmet. He and a new recruit have been missing since last night when we sent him to take out the trash. I also found his cape there. And his vehicle was still loaded with trash. Wow. Thank you, Pit Hog. This is very valuable information. I'll let you know if we find him. Alright. I'll see you later, Blue. I'll see you too, Pit Hog. Let's move out, Browner. Come on. Oh, by the way, Blue, if you have us over here, make some Italian food. I love that stuff. Alright. See you later, Pit Hog. Dang, was that Pit Hog and Browner? Yeah, it was. Why? Nothing. Just old friends from training. Is that Hawkeye? It is! Blue! Cotton! Look off to your right! Hey, Hawkeye! Where you been? What's going on, buddy? Hey, come on, Hawkeye. Talk to us. <laughs> Hawkeye, what the hell is wrong with you? You just shot one of your own brothers! Don't worry, Blue. I got your back. He's dead. Everybody come here. Listen up. Jackal and I are gonna go bury Cotton, alright? Now, Hawkeye, something was wrong with him. He let out some kind of inhuman roar before good old Ford up there shot him. But we need to figure this out. Sarge, I want you to do an autopsy on him, alright? Relay, you help Ford stand guard. You know, that wasn't a bad shot. You might have saved Blue's life. I try to shoot on target when it counts. Thanks. No problem. 
That sure was weird, wasn't it? Yeah. It was like something was wearing a Hawkeye costume. We're back. Is Sergeant done with the autopsy? Yeah, he told us to meet him around back when you guys got back here. Alright, let's go then. Okay, everyone, listen. If you haven't already guessed, what we saw out there isn't actually Hawkeye. It, something took over him. Like, mimicked him. In fact, all the metal on his armor was made of mimetic polyalloy. An explanation would be nice, Sarge. Mimetic polyalloy is a type of liquid metal, which appears and feels like real metal, except it's not. The only way to test it is to shoot it. And if we do shoot it, then what? What happens? It'll make a gelatin sound, almost. Believe me, you'll know when you hear it. But, I don't know, this is about all the information that I have on these things so far. I don't know what to say about them. Thank you, Sarge, for doing the autopsy. Sarge? Yeah, come here, Jackal. Sarge, I got this really itchy rash down there. Did you get it last night? Yeah. Yeah, we all get that the first night we come here, don't worry. It's just something about the area. There's some herbs outside, though, which I can mash up, make it to a cream, and it'll make it all better. Why don't you go get it for me? Sure, Sarge. Guys, Sixer's coming towards the base. We gotta get out there now. Alright, I'll get the machine gun. Blue, we're in position. Don't engage until I tell you to, just in case he's not like Hawkeye. Permission to engage? He hasn't said anything. No, I got you back, don't worry. Sorry, my friend. Had to be done. Whoa! Get away from me! No! Can't get a clear shot. Really, get in there. I think I figured it out. We gotta start shooting these things in the head. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You saved my life, Relay. It's what I'm here for. No, Sixer. You were one of them, too. How did you not see him when you went out? What do you mean? I mean, he was standing right in front of the outpost. I, I didn't see him. Really? You two need to stop bickering. We need to get this inside so we can do an autopsy on it. Find out if he had the same thing. I hate to interrupt you all, but it seems we have a visitor. That doesn't sound good. Hello? Anybody there? You! Halt! Don't move a muscle! Dude, what's wrong with you? Can't you see I'm a clone? Why are you here, soldier? How did you get here in the first place? I just crash landed like five clicks south of here. I've come for assistance. What's your clone trooper identification number? And what squad do you fly with? I fly for Clone Flight Squadron 7. I'm CT-8901, or Strikes. I had an engine failure and I had to attempt a crash landing. What do you think, Blue? Should we let him in? Well, we're supposed to help out all clones, but how do we know that he's not one of whatever the heck Sixer and Hawkeye were? I got a plan. Let me handle that. Alright, if you're sure about that. Hey! Strikes! Come here! 